welcome back to Unlocked. And the past few weeks have been full of just as personal as you can get when it comes to this podcast. So I've realized that the more intentional I am, the more successful not only the show is, but my connection with all of my listeners and followers. And I've realized that it's kind of a source of therapy for me. I get the chance to not only grow with you guys, but grow just within myself. And the episode with Chad was so healing because it kind of just got the elephant out of the room. You guys always ask, all right, where's Chad? What happened? And now you know the answer to that. And if you haven't listened, go back and listen because it was a really, really good episode that brought a lot of healing. And that I love the title of the episode of like rearranging furniture because that's exactly what we all have to do sometimes in our lives. We have to rearrange that emotional furniture sometimes to make it fit how we need it to fit in our lives at this moment. So I'm just so grateful for that episode. Chad and I have been texting and obviously he got a kick out of the Mass Singer performance. If you guys have not watched, you have to go back and watch me on the Mass Singer. It was such a crazy experience and it was so fun. Obviously I cannot sing. I was pretty terrible. Um, I was the joke and I laughed at the joke. So that's a really fun place to be at. I honestly thought they were going to add some auto tune, make me sound a little bit better, but definitely did not happen. Um, I got zero auto tune. So what you heard is 110% me. I will claim it. I wish I couldn't. But it was one of those experiences to where, first off, I like everything that I do to be perfect. I just do. It's who I am. It's. Prime example, Grace and Pressure Wash for me this past weekend. What did I do yesterday? I went outside and I redid the whole thing because it just wasn't how I needed it to be done. So I tend to be a perfectionist on certain things. And me saying yes to the mass Singer was going outside of my comfort zone and showing up for something that I was uncomfortable with and realizing that, okay, you don't have to be perfect at everything you do. Stop taking life so serious, stop being so uptight, and just show up and have fun because life is so unbelievably short that we just need to show up and have fun, laugh at yourself, enjoy it, who cares? So that was a little update on that. And before Chad's episode, we did a little Prison Diaries um, segment and mom actually sent me more letters. So we're going to continue prison diaries. This will be part three and four. So I've got plenty of stuff here. And many of you are asking, okay, what the heck? Why do you have a gazillion pieces of magazine paper? Um, What's that about? So mom gets like magazine subscriptions <laughs> there. That's about the only thing that she gets that's like worth a damn. But these are magazines that she has saved. So we've got Southern Living, we've got all kinds of different cooking magazines, and she saved these and she sends them to me. And she'll like fold pages in the magazine so I know where to look, or if she sees something that she knows I would like, she sends it to me, tears out the pages. And I'm really excited for that because it's just a way for she and I to connect even though we aren't together. Um, and that's one of those things that I've realized, like, you don't have to be in the same room to have a connection. You can be thousands of miles apart. You can not be able to speak on the phone. There's other ways you can figure out how to connect with someone. And it's all about being intentional. I don't know if I said it on the podcast before, but my word for the this year is just intentional, like intentionality is key. And every single thing that you do, the words that you speak, the actions that you partake in, just the thoughts that you think, if you are intentional about everything that you do, you will see change, you'll see positive change, positive outcomes in your life. And so 
here are a lot of recipes that mom has actually sent me. So I'm thinking about, well, first off, I'm definitely going to cook them because why not? She saw them and it's something that she's interested in. So I love cooking. I get it from mom. My house is kind of that house where it's like, I'll cook and I'll tell all my friends, hey, come over if you're hungry or they seem to like it. So that's good. Um, but I'm going to start cooking these recipes, cooking, baking, all the things. And if you're interested, then I will post the recipes that I'm cooking on our social page and let you guys kind of feel like you're a part of the journey too. And when mom gets home, well, she can cook them with me and hopefully that's sooner than later. Now that I've explained all the random magazine papers to you guys, there's literally hundreds that she has sent me of recipes, pages she's torn out. Also, not only has she sent me recipes, but she sent me, which I actually am like obsessed with. Hold on, I need to find it. Okay, it's the 2024 colors of the year. So she'll send me interior design stuff. She'll send me like a shirt she thinks would look good on me. She sends me recipes. But I loved the interior design piece of things because well, with all the real estate that I'm doing right now, there are seven houses that I've help design that we're about to list. And that's kind of my new thing right now. And I am thoroughly enjoying it. So the fact that she gets to be a part of it too, makes my heart happy. And in these next round of letters, um, they're not, she didn't write every day. There's a lot of time periods that are skipped. And it's just kind of how it is. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like to be her and to be inside and doing the same things all day every day with just no reprieve and two one thing I did differently this time is I didn't I have not read these letters yet the first round I read as soon as I got them and these I got literally like two days ago and life's been crazy but then I also thought to myself you know what Let's just get the real and raw emotions and see where it leads us. So here we go on part three of the Prison Diary series. April 16th, 2023, day 90. I never thought I'd ever say I've been down 90 days. Yes, this is a prison slang used to indicate how long you've been in prison. I've never been down 90 days in my entire life. Not when I had children, not when I had breast cancer, not after a double mastectomy. I think it's finally hit me that I'm actually here and possibly here for the long haul, even though the appeal has been filed. I have 84 numbers written out on my calendar. Three have been crossed out. So 84 is the amount of months that mom got, So, which is wild. 84 months. Um. I've got my other thoughts on that, but this is the first time in 29 years that Todd and I have not been together on his birthday. I've always loved birthdays and celebrating those I love. I can't believe I didn't even get to hear his voice. God, please don't let me forget the sound of his voice. This week has probably been the toughest. Todd's birthday and Easter, the first two occasions that I've missed. My hope and prayer is that my time passes quickly. That's a brutal one. Um, so 84, 84 is the number of months that mom got. And what's so crazy in comparison is in Dublin, California, at the women's prison there where the I've spoken about it before to where the chaplain, warden and correctional officers all sexually abused and tortured these women there. The chaplain or the warden, one of the two, I can't remember. They got, I think it was like 70 months. So they got less time than my mom got, which is wild. These were people in a position of power that just had an abundance of power to make or break your life. And they just sexually abused these women. There was over 100 women that came forward. So just to put it into comparison, and then... Second part of the letter, 
I didn't even get to hear his voice. God, please don't let me forget the sound of his voice. I think that's the most heartbreaking thing because I think when I read it, the reason I got emotional was obviously thinking of mom and dad and like, please don't let me forget his voice. But now I look at that so differently after Nick and I'm like, Oh, please don't let me forget. You know, I think when you start to lose people really close to you, you kind of understand that a little, a little bit better. Um, so that was day 90. The next letter is ooh, day 120, which is May 16th, 2023. The gap I feel like is everything's becoming just very mundane. Like this is my life. This is what it is. Trying to block everything out, trying to just make it through. And knowing my mom, she just tries to stay busy. Like even at home, when she got nervous, she would clean. So I know her and I know that she's just trying to make the time pass as quick as possible. Um, so it's a full month later and May 16th, the significance of that is Gray's birthday. I don't even want, I should have read these before. <laughs> my baby's birthday. How is my baby 17 today? How am I missing his birthday? The first ever. Thank God for Savannah. She cooked for everyone. Something I would most definitely do. She, she surprised him with Braves tickets and, of course, got him the smoothie maker he wanted. <laughs> Another kitchen gadget. Just what we need. I'm so proud of the young man he's becoming. He's such an old soul. This day really stings. I love celebrating my kids, and to be away kills me. Hmm. I remember that birthday and why it was so difficult. Poor Gray. Ugh. Was the trial started May 16th, 2022. Um, get my box of Kleenexes so I don't go meet real estate clients looking like a... <laughs> A hot mess. <laughs> um, so the tr trial started May 16th, 2022. And that was his 16th birthday. His 17th birthday was mom and dad in prison. And now his 18th birthday is coming up May 16th. And mom and dad will still be there. Or who knows, maybe... The appeal, we don't expect to hear anything that quick. So it could take quite a while to hear an opinion on that. But it's just, it makes me so sad because the way I look at it is like my 20s have been full of just hurt and disappointment and all these different feelings. And that's what Grayson's teenage years are filled with, of court hearings, disappointments mom and dad in prison and I just hope and pray that he can enter into his 20s without all of the disappointment and hurt and anger and as he's entering into his 20s I'll be entering into my 30s and hopefully that next decade is very different for all of us. The last letter was May 16th. The next letter is May 25th. Day 129. Happy anniversary. Today is our 27th wedding anniversary. My marriage is something I'm so proud of. It hasn't always been easy, but it's been so worth it. This is the first anniversary Todd and I have spent apart. I know God is in every situation, but man, it's difficult. What is he trying to teach us? Definitely changes your perspective on so many things. I've always known I was a strong person, but this is testing me in a way I've never imagined. Lord, help me make it through the day. Mm. So 27 years, mom and dad have been married. Well, I guess we're coming up on 28. Wow. 
I couldn't imagine. How long has it been since they've actually spoken? I'm starting to lose track now. Well, since January, a year and a half. Yeah, a little over 14 months and 27 years. Literally, my parents did not vacation like with friends or <laughs> do things like that. They were together all the time. So that's just, God, I cannot imagine the feelings that she's feeling, which is, I just can't. I know how strong my mom is. Uh, she's way stronger than people give her credit for. That's for sure. But I do, there are times to where I worry just because I know how our federal prison system works. I know that over half of the deaths that have occurred within, you know, the BOP the last year were all of suicide. Why is that? Why? It's because of how we treat those men and women. We're not giving them proper mental health treatment. We're subjecting them to abuse. Over three-fourths of our federal prison system has just been eaten up with sexual abuse allegations. So three-fourths of the facility. That's that's wild. So I do worry. I worry that, like, is that going to be my mom? Is that going to be something she has to endure? I, I worry about her mental health so much and dad's mental health that... Sometimes it consumes me, but I just have to believe that like, okay, God has a bigger plan for all of us. Day 160, June 25th. So it seems like she's just writing like once a month at this point, which makes me sad because I hope it doesn't get less and less. June 25th, 2023. I feel like I've experienced so many emotions over the past few months. I've survived Todd's birthday, Mother's Day, Gray's birthday, Chase's birthday, my anniversary, and Father's Day. Whew. So that explains why there was less and less letters. That's a lot of missed days that I can never get back. I can only pray that I don't miss many more. Baseball season is in full swing. I hate, hate, hate that I'm missing them. But my boy is doing so good. Ladies, imagine a bra that you actually want to wear. You probably can't think of one unless you already own Honey Love. Today's sponsor, Honey Love, has revolutionized the bra game. Say goodbye to underwire and bulky fabrics that trap heat. Honey Love's bras feature supportive bonding that eliminates the need for underwire without sacrificing lift. They're made with fabric that's so soft, it feels like a second skin. You'll immediately feel and see the difference. It's so next level comfortable, you'll forget that you're even wearing it. Plus, my weight fluctuates, and when my weight fluctuates, my bra sizes fluctuate. And that's where Honey Love has been a game changer for me. Let's face it, it's time to spring clean your bra drawer. For a limited time only, you can get Honey Love on sale. Get 20% off your entire order with our exclusive link, honeylove.com slash unlocked. Support our show and check them out at honeylove.com forward slash unlocked. Apartments.com has more rental listings than anywhere else. So finding the perfect place is easier than ever. And so is finally moving in together. Just the two of you. It's a big step. I know. Lots of new responsibilities, lots of adjustments. Most likely they'll wake you up at odd hours to go to the bathroom and you'll most definitely find yourself in trouble coming home late for dinner. They might even unroll all your toilet paper next time. It's just what happens when you two find a new place together. But you're not doing it because you feel like it. No, you're doing it because you love them, because they're family. And that's why Apartments.com has the most pet-friendly rental listings on the internet so that you and your furry family can find the perfect new place together. Apartments.com, the place to find a pet-friendly place. These days, a lot of people are learning about all the benefits of fasting, like weight loss, mental and physical performance, and gut health. But do you worry about the whole not eating part? That's exactly why Prolon was created. Introducing Prolon, a revolutionary plant-based nutrition program that nourishes the body while making cells believe that they're fasting. Researched and developed for decades at the University of Southern California Longevity Institute and backed by leading U.S. medical centers, Prolon helps promote healthy blood sugar, support cardiovascular health, and reduce abdominal fat. But Prolon isn't a diet. Prolon is 
is science. Science based on Nobel Prize winning discoveries in medicine. And this all starts with Prolon's five day program. Snacks, soups, and beverages all designed to keep your body in a fasting state. It's unlike anything you've ever experienced. I have friends who have done this program and they swear by it. There's a girlfriend of mine that's on Southern Charm. She has posted that she has done Prolon numerous times and she swears by it and absolutely loves it. So I think everyone has pretty much converted me and I've been needing something to help kind of kickstart and restart my body. And I am so excited because I'm going to be doing the Prolon five day program. I mean, let's face it. If you're going to start a nutrition program, why not use Prolon? It's convenient backed by Nobel winning science and it works. It's no wonder why thousands of doctors now recommend Prolon to support healthy blood sugar and cardiovascular health. Right now, Prolon is offering Unlocked with Savannah Chrisley listeners 10% off their five day nutrition program. All you have to do is go to prolonlife.com slash unlocked. That's prolon, P-R-O-L-O-N, life.com slash unlocked for this special offer. So hurry up, go to prolonlife.com slash unlocked for your special offer. Savannah's in New Zealand. I've been calling her at 6 a.m., 6 p.m., and 11 p.m. As of yesterday, she had to turn her phone in. I won't be able to talk to her for a week. I'm so proud of her. Chloe is doing great. This makes me so happy. I was so worried, but she has adjusted way better than I thought. She's been making videos for Savannah. It's the cutest thing. Chase surprised me with a visit on Friday and then came back on Saturday. My parents are with the kids. It's a rainy day today. What I wouldn't give to be in bed today, watching Netflix, Todd requesting something from the kitchen, and just hanging there. To look over and see him eyeing real estate all over the world and asking, Julie, will you make us this or that? I can't wait for the day. Please, God. That's so true, y'all. Oh, my gosh. That literally, like, on the weekends, they were, especially two leading up to everything they that's all they did like they would lay in bed binge watch mom would cook all kinds of great food like we would all I basically lived at mom and dad's house for two months maybe before they left I mean I did Nick basically did um we It was all just, and now I look back and I'm so grateful for those moments because the amount of videos and photos I have or dad has on his phone that I've seen now of like me and Nick laying at the end of their bed and just talking and laughing and cutting up and no, Nick and I weren't in the best place in the world, but we were still family and it didn't matter if we were together or not, like we were still family and that's kind of just what we all did. The next letter, let's see, that one was, the last letter was June 25th, 2023, 160 days. Next letter is day 259, (laughs) October 2nd, 2023. I haven't journaled, this one's a long one, I haven't journaled in so long, but I'm going to start being more consistent. (laughs) It's literally what I just said. These last few months have been the hardest. The realization has hit that life is continuing to move on, and here I am, stuck. I'm sitting here today, just with a million things going through my head. God, how life just slaps us in the face sometimes. Since my last journal entry, I'm no longer in the culinary program. The teacher made it a requirement for all the girls in the program to live in one room. No, thank you. (laughs) I'm finally in a room with just one other person, and it actually allows you to have some space, as crazy as that sounds. I enjoyed the program, but knew that it was time for me to bow out. I I have discovered in prison that there are so many women who have never had a voice or felt like they had any kind of power or control. Thanks again to my husband. I've always had a voice. I thank God Savannah has this too. 
I'm back working in commissary. It's a good job and gives me something to do. I consistently try to make things make sense around here, but they just don't. The way things run around here make no sense at all. There's no accountability, no follow through, and no one who really cares. I ran out of phone minutes a few days ago, and I'm going crazy not being able to speak to the kids. I've set up video calls, but for some reason, Chase can't figure it out. Shocker. Life is so uncertain, and I'm witnessing it firsthand. September 23rd, 2023. Nick was killed in a motorcycle accident. My heart is broken. Oh, God. My heart is broken into a million pieces. He was such a good kid. Gosh. He was such a good kid. Todd and I loved him like he was one of our own. <sighs> Nick had his demons, but God knows that we all do. He so wanted to be loved, and I pray that he knew that we loved him. I can't imagine what his parents are feeling right now. No parent is supposed to bury a child. I pray that somehow they're able to continue on and celebrate Nick's life. I'm continuing to pray that God shows me the purpose in my pain. Being away from Todd and my kids is sometimes more than I think I can bear. The loneliness is crippling. The guilt of being away from my kids is truly torture. I thank God for Savannah, but she should be living her best life, not raising her siblings. Her strength amazes me. I pray God shows her favor, as only he can do. Please, God, give me the strength to make it through one more day. <sighs> Gosh. I swear, like, sometimes I'm like, all right, it gets easier. And then sometimes it just, like, slaps you in the face. Um, I can't imagine what honestly though it's one of those things where I'm like all right I know God like I see God working as hard as that day was and I don't really know if I've really talked about it but as hard as that day was I was when I found out about Nick the kids and I were landing in Pensacola to go see dad and I was on a flight when I got a call and I couldn't answer it so I shot a text and I was like hey what's you know, I'm on my flight and the text back was, I need you to call me as soon as you land. So I knew something was wrong and I was like, what is it? What is it? And that's when I was told that Nick got in an accident and didn't make it. And I just fell apart on the plane. Like there was no controlling it. I didn't care who was her. I just, I, I just couldn't. And, but that day, like I said, I was going to see dad and I got to be the one to tell him and Chase and my grandparents were going to see mom. So they got to be the ones to tell mom. First off, I walked into that prison visiting room, a hot mess. Let me tell you, like just makeup all over my face. I got makeup wipes out so I could just take it all off my face. But I walked in and dad just knew when he saw me. He was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I couldn't get words out. And I just said, Nick. And as hard as it was telling him that, I'm also so grateful that God allowed me to be the one to tell him so he didn't have to be alone when he heard the news because he and Nick were best friends. Like, that was part of... There was a rift between dad and I because I felt like he chose Nick over me at times. And I'm like, I'm your daughter. Like, choose me. But now I'm so grateful that he chose Nick in so many difficult moments. And I'm just grateful that Chase got to be the one to tell mom that. 
Oh, God, I was not expecting that. Next letter, November 19th, 2023, day 307. As Thanksgiving approaches, I'm thankful, but also so sad. I love the holidays. Most of the women in here just want Thanksgiving and Christmas to be over. It is such an internal struggle for me because I love these seasons so much. It seems to be an ongoing struggle that I have. I've never wanted to wish time away. I never wanted my kids to grow up. I never wanted the holidays over. But in here, you just want your time to go by so quickly as po- you want your time to go by as quickly as possible so you can get out and continue living your life. My parents came to visit yesterday. They're here every Saturday. Thank God. I wish they didn't have to travel so far every week, but I'm so thankful. There are women who have been here for years and have never had one visitor. Savannah makes sure that she brings the kids as much as she possibly can, and if they aren't here, they're visiting Todd. I don't know what I would do without my family. Like mom said, we try to visit as much as humanly possible. It's tough, um, obviously, as time goes on because I have to work. Like, I can't not work. And now that school's back, you know, Monday through Friday, there's holidays and you struggle with that guilt of, well, do we spend holidays in a prison or do we spend holidays at home? There's so many things and it's tough because like I don't want them to feel like life's moving on without them but at the same time we have to have some sort of life outside of working in school and going to a prison like it's so hard to find the happy medium between it all because there's so much guilt associated with it but I feel like you know we have a good balance now. We still go. I mean, we went last year, we went literally every single weekend except maybe a handful of weekends because of either baseball or holidays. All right. The last letter was November 19th, 2023. And that was day 307. So on that note, I'm going to take a break because clearly I need to go and blow my nose and (laughs) get a sip of water, regroup, and part four of Prison Diaries will start on November 23rd, 2023, day 311.